For decades, the world's most advanced fighter jets were defined by one thing. A decisive technological edge, and most of that came from their engines. American giants like Pratt & Whitney and General Electric have long set the standard, powering everything from the F-15 Eagle to the F-22 Raptor. Sure, rivals popped up in Europe and Russia, but the absolute cutting edge of engine tech? That was a Western club. For years, China's aerospace industry was on the outside looking in, forced to build its air force with imported or reverse-engineered Russian engines. Well, that's about to change. China has just pulled the curtain back on what could be a revolutionary new engine. A single breakthrough that threatens to make its fighters faster, stealthier, and more efficient than anything the West has in the sky. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a potential paradigm shift, born from decades of relentless effort and massive state investment. The engine at the heart of this story could not only end China's reliance on foreign tech but catapult it into a dominant position. So, how did China secretly close a technology gap that was decades wide, and what does this new engine mean for the future of air combat? To really get how big this moment is, you have to look back at China's long and frustrating journey in jet propulsion. For a generation, its best fighters were held back by their engines. The Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon, China's first stealth fighter and its direct answer to the American F-22, flew its first missions powered by Russian engines, specifically derivatives of the Saturn AL-31. They were capable, sure, but they were also a strategic vulnerability. This dependency didn't just limit the J-20's ultimate performance, it also capped how many could be built. The first real turning point came with the homegrown Shenyang WS-10, specifically the WS-10C variant. This engine was a landmark achievement, finally letting China start swapping out Russian power plants in its J-20 fleet. But the WS-10C was always seen as a temporary fix, a stepping stone to something much bigger. The real prize was the engine military analysts had been watching for years, the Shenyang WS-15. The WS-15 is designed to be the J-20's definitive power plant, engineered to go head-to-head -head with the Pratt & Whitney F-119 that powers America's F-22 Raptor. With a reported thrust of around 180 kilonewtons, the WS-15 is meant to unlock the J-20's full potential, giving it true supercruise, the ability to fly at sustained supersonic speeds without guzzling fuel in an afterburner. After years of development, Reports throughout 2023 confirmed the WS-15 was finally ready for mass production, with J-20s fitted with the new engine being spotted. If these engines live up to their design goals, a WS-15-powered J-20 would have the kinematic performance to put it on par with, or even exceed, the F-22 in key areas like thrust-to-weight ratio. But as impressive as the WS-15 is, it's the next development that is truly shocking the West. In November 2025, at an academic conference in Beijing, Chinese researchers unveiled something that could rewrite the rules of aerial combat. Scientists from the Chinese Academy of Sciences presented data from a working prototype of a new adaptive cycle engine, or ACE. This technology is basically the holy grail of jet propulsion, and according to their presentation, China has made it a reality. Unlike traditional jet engines, which are stuck being good at either subsonic efficiency or supersonic power, an adaptive cycle engine can do both. It physically reconfigures its airflow mid-flight, making it operate at peak performance across the entire flight envelope. For years, the US has been the undisputed leader here, with its Adaptive Engine Transition Program AETP, producing the revolutionary GE XA-100 and Pratt and Whitney XA-101 engines. But China's new engine seems to be taking a different, and potentially more advanced, path. While the American designs use a two-stream architecture, the Chinese prototype features a novel three-stream system. This third stream of airflow offers several game-changing advantages. It provides superior cooling for the engine and the aircraft's power-hungry electronics, a huge deal for stealth jets. It also dramatically reduces the engine's infrared signature, making the aircraft much harder for heat-seeking missiles to find and track. The performance numbers presented at the conference are staggering. 
The data showed the engine demonstrating up to a 47% increase in thrust during high-altitude tests and a 37% cut in fuel consumption compared to conventional engines. Even more astonishing, the researchers claim it can operate efficiently at speeds up to Mach 4. It's crucial to state that these are unconfirmed claims from a Chinese academic conference, not from independently verified flight tests, and some analysts believe the Mach 4 figure might refer to simulations. But if these claims are even partially accurate, China is on the verge of fielding an engine that, on paper, surpasses any publicly known US military technology. So, what could this bold advancement mean for the future of warfare? A fighter jet equipped with this kind of engine would have an almost unfair advantage. First, their speed and range. The ability to cruise efficiently at supersonic speeds while also getting a 30% or more boost in fuel efficiency means Chinese fighters could fly further, faster, and stay on station longer than their opponents. This directly messes with the strategic math for the US and its allies, especially across the vast distances of the Indo-Pacific. Second, survivability gets a massive boost. The three-stream design's lower heat signature makes the aircraft stealthier against modern infrared search and track systems, which are becoming a primary tool for finding stealth aircraft. And third, it opens up entirely new mission possibilities. An adaptive engine lets a single aircraft fly a long-range recon mission one day and a high-speed intercept the next, with no performance trade-offs. It erases the compromises that have defined fighter design for half a century. This breakthrough couldn't come at a more critical time. While the US did successfully develop its own adaptive engines, the decision was made not to integrate them into the F-35 fighter, choosing instead to upgrade the existing F-135 engine. The groundbreaking XA-100 and XA-101 were effectively shelved for the F-35, creating a potential window for China to be the first to field an operational adaptive engine. This new engine isn't just about upgrading China's current jets, it's the heart of its next generation ambitions. The world's air forces are now in a sprint to develop sixth generation fighters. The American program is known as Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD. Back in March 2025, the Air Force announced that Boeing would build the manned fighter for the NGAD system, designating it the F-47. This aircraft is meant to be a long-range, ultra-stealthy fighter operating with a team of autonomous drone wingmen. However, the NGAD program is hitting turbulence. Reports confirmed in late 2025 that the engine development for the F-47, under the Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion NGAP, program, is facing delays of over two years, pushing its readiness out to the middle of 2030. Meanwhile, China is charging ahead with its own sixth-gen programs. Unverified photos have surfaced on social media of what appear to be advanced prototypes being tested, and officially nicknamed the J-36. While official details are non-existent, the appearance of a second, heavily modified prototype in late 2025 suggests a rapid, iterative design process is underway. This new adaptive cycle engine is the missing piece of the puzzle, the key that could let China leapfrog a generation and potentially field a sixth-generation fighter that can outperform anything in the American arsenal. The strategic implications are huge. For decades, the US has counted on its technological superiority in the air to project power. A Chinese fighter fleet powered by these new engines would fundamentally challenge that superiority, potentially shifting the military balance of power in hotspots like the South China Sea and beyond. The race for the skies has entered a new and uncertain chapter. Breakthroughs like this are a stark reminder that technological dominance is never guaranteed. If you want to stay ahead of the curve on the tech shaping our world and future conflicts, make sure to subscribe for more deep dives into military technology. From being totally dependent on Russian imports to revealing a potentially world-beating adaptive cycle engine, China's journey in jet propulsion has been nothing short of extraordinary. The WS-15 is already set to make the J-20 a true top-tier fighter. But it's the new, three-stream adaptive engine that truly threatens to change everything. While its incredible performance claims are yet to be proven on a real-world aircraft, the science appears sound and the strategic intent is crystal clear. Beijing isn't just trying to catch up anymore. It's aiming to lead.
The United States now finds itself in a fierce and unexpected race. Its own advanced engine program for the F-47 is delayed, while China appears to be hitting the accelerator. The next decade will be a technological arms race fought not with bullets, but with turbine blades, exotic materials, and thermodynamic efficiency. The nation that masters this new generation of engine technology won't just rule the skies, it will hold a decisive edge in global power for decades to come.